Hello book nerds! Welcome to Bookshelf Bunny! I'm Kim and today we will be doing a short writing update. Hey guys! So it's been about a month since my last writing update, maybe a little more, and I just wanted to catch you up with my progress. So I have successfully completed my fast read through of my second draft. That was my goal for January. And the purpose of my fast read through was to look at my story from the eyes of a reader rather than the eyes of a writer. <laughs> Go through that second draft, just get a feel for it. Catch the plot holes, notice the things that I would notice in someone else's story, <laughs> but in my own. <laughs> so I did that and that was really good. I went through it real quick, probably in about two weeks. And then it was time to begin the reverse outline, also known as a book map. And the idea behind the reverse outline is to then go back scene by scene and do a quick glance over each scene and as I'm doing that note to myself who's in this scene, what are the main plot points, what subplots are featured here and what should I consider changing. So that's where I'm at right now. I am working through my book map or my reverse outline. <laughs> And I use a spreadsheet that I was able to get from a um, writing thing conference that I participated in last year. Um, I'll put a link to the creator below. It was a special freebie gift because she happened to be one of the presenters at that writing thing. And so I saved it and I, I use it a lot. It's great. <laughs> It's a fantastic resource and I wish I could share the link with you but I only got the one and it's gone now. I just have the spreadsheet that I saved. So maybe one day, I don't want to like copyright her work so I can't give it to you. <laughs> but I can give you kind of the gist of it. There are lots of people who do something similar. So maybe I will put in the description below some links to similar uh, formats for a reverse outline in case you're interested in how that works. So that's where I'm at. I'm super excited. I'm about halfway through my current book map. I'm actually hoping to finish it by the end of this weekend. And after that, I'm going to spend the rest of February, the last two weeks of February, working towards picking apart those scenes. So once I have created a map for myself as to what my story looks like at this moment, and what I might want to change. Then I'm going to go in, look at those notes in detail and create my revision plan and dig in. <laughs> Start doing those big picture revisions, character arts, uh, arcs, plot holes, tidy up my subplots, all those wonderful things. So those are my next steps. Um, the other thing I wanted to touch on, one of my goals this year was to write something new each month just to keep my brain being creative and not just bogged down by the one <laughs> project. Um, I did come up with a idea in January and kind of a really rough outline for it, but I ran out of time and I didn't actually write a draft. So that's unfortunate, but I have the idea, I have the outline, I can easily take that and turn it into something later. <laughs> So for the next two weeks of February, I need to hurry up and come up with another idea for February of a new project that I want to write. Now the tricky part with this goal is when I dig down and I really get into my novel and my revisions, it's easy for that to be my singular focus, <laughs> which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but sometimes I need to step away and have that break so that I can keep a fresh perspective. And that's why I'm doing this small project a month thing also. So I've really been buckling down with my revisions the last two weeks. So for the next two weeks while I'm putting together that revision plan after this book map, 
I'm gonna have to carve out a little time to just step back, and brainstorm something totally different for my February small project goal. <laughs> and that's where I'm at. Okay, book nerds, that's all I got for you. As always, happy reading and writing.